In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the special right triangles to find the exact length of sides. Now there are two special right triangles, the 45, 45, 90 degree triangle and the 30, 60, 90 degree triangle. So we know that the 45, 45, 90 has the 45, 45 angles. Let's say that the side lengths were one and one. So knowing this, we can use Pythagoras to find the length of the third side, the hypotenuse. So 1 squared plus 1 squared would be 2, and then we square root it to get the square root of 2. Now the other triangle is based on the equilateral triangle. So this is going to be 60 degrees on the bottom here, and 30 plus 30 degrees on the top, and this will be all the same here. So we have the 30, 60, 90. Now instead of labeling the sides 1, 1, we're going to label the sides as 2. So this will be 2 and 2. But instead of labeling this whole side as 2, we're going to split that in half to be 1 and 1. And this works to be split half and half because it's an equilateral triangle. And when we draw the altitude from the vertex at the top, this will split this length into two equal parts. So again, using Pythagoras, we can find the height. So the height squared will equal 2 squared minus 1 squared. So the height will equal 3, which then gives me root 3. All right. So knowing this, let's say that we wanted to find sine theta. So sine theta, remember, is the opposite over the hypotenuse. Cos theta is equal to the adjacent divided by the hypotenuse, and tan theta is equal to the opposite divided by the adjacent side. Remember that the hypotenuse is the side that's opposite this right degree angle box, and our adjacent, so if our, this is our angle here, the adjacent side would be the one right beside it, and the opposite side would be the angle way on the other side, um, across from the angle. That would be the opposite. So when we take a look at sine 45 degrees, we can see that's 1 divided by root 2. Using the first triangle still, let's go through cos 45 degrees. So that's adjacent, so it's going to be 1 divided by root 2. And then tan 45 degrees is opposite divided by adjacent, so 1 over 1, which equals 1. So going to the other triangle, sine 60 degrees is our opposite. So we're only going to take a look at half of the triangle here. So we don't need the whole right side. So sine 60 degrees, opposite is root 3, and the hypotenuse is 2. Co 60 degrees, we have the adjacent, which is 1, and the hypotenuse, which is 2. Tan 60 degrees is opposite, so root 3 divided by 1, which equals just root 3. And the last one is sine 30 degrees. So we have here, so 30 degrees, we're going to take it from the top here. We have the opposite. Now the opposite now is way on the other side, which will be 1 divided by 2. Cos 30 degrees, so that's the adjacent side, which is now this altitude, the height, which is root 3 divided by 2. And tan 30 degrees is our opposite, which is 1, divided by the adjacent side next to the angle, which is root 3. Okay, so I'm going to show you a couple of different ways that we can actually um, use to find the lengths of a triangle. So here I actually have a word problem. So Allie is learning to play the piano. Her teacher uses a metronome to help her keep time. The pendulum arm of the metronome is 10 centimeters long. The tempo is adjusted so the arm of the metronome swings from 45 degrees to 135 degrees. So what is the exact horizontal distance does the tip of the arm travel in one beat? To figure this out, let's draw a diagram. So we're going to start with plotting this on an axis. And the metronome, it travels from 45 degrees. So that's going to be 45 degrees here. And then it travels to 135. 
which should be the same distance on this other side. So this is going to be 135 degrees and we can find the reference angle which is over here and it's going to be 180 minus 135 so it does also 45 degrees. So what we want to know is as this metronome, this uh, pendulum arm moves, it's going to go like so. So the arm will hit a point up here. Okay. Now the temple is adjusted to this angle. Um, it is 10 centimeters long, so this is going to be 10 and 10. What is the exact horizontal distance the tip of the arm travels in one beat? So what we're looking for is the distance from here to here. And we want the horizontal distance, so we want this distance right there. So knowing that this is 45 degrees here, and this is a horizontal distance, which is parallel to this axis, then we also know that this has to be 45 degrees. And if you th look, um, these are what we would call alternate interior angles here. Now, we're going to find out what this distance here is, x, and that distance is from the y-axis to this point. So if we can figure out what that x value is, we can double it to find the entire distance. So what we're going to do is, knowing that this is 45, or we can actually even use this part as 45, so let's just say that's 45 there to make it a little bit easier. I'm going to label my triangle. Actually, I'm going to pull it out so you can see it a little bit easier. And this is going to be 10. So we're going to create a ratio. Now, to help you do this, we're also going to label the sides with the triangles uh, the special triangle. So a 45, 45, 90 is 1, 1, and root 2. So you have two ways that you can do this question. So one way is that we can use trigonometry, and we can say that cos 45 degrees, we're using cos because we want the adjacent side here, if I was looking at it with respect to here, is equal to 1 divided by root 2. Okay, and that's based on uh, knowing that this is 10. If I use the green values, I would have x divided by 10. So now that we have this, I can solve for x by multiplying both sides by 10. That will isolate my x. So here we have x is equal to 10 divided by root 2. And I can simplify this by multiplying root 2 on the top and bottom. So we're going to rationalize the denominator. So I have 10 root 2. Root 2 times root 2 is root 4, which is 2. So x equals 5 root 2. So then the horizontal distance is equal to 2 times 5 root 2, which equals 10 root 2. So when we multiply by 2, it only affects the number or the coefficient in front of the radical. And this will be in centimeters. Now, we didn't actually need to have the cos 45 degrees. We can actually just use special triangles. So if we cover up this cos 45 degrees here, we can just use um, special triangles. So we have 1 over root 2, which is what's given from the special triangle, which equals x over 10. Now, we didn't have to use cos 45. We could have also used sine 45 degrees. And that would be based on the angle here and now on the bottom. And we know that sine 45 degrees, let's try a different way, would equal x over 10. And if you have the special triangles memorized, sine 45 degrees, if you look back up here, is 1 over root 2. equals x over 10. And then you can see that this step is the same as what we had over here. And then you can follow the same steps. Now, I actually don't think that it's a good idea to memorize all of these nine different values for a sign for 45, 60, and 30. But what you should remember is to memorize these special triangles, the 1, 1, root 2, 
and the one root three two, which will then help you to figure out these problems um, or any problems that involve finding the exact value. One nice way maybe to memorize is that the 30 with a three is beside the side that also has a three, the root three. And there you have it.